making a CVT puller tool. I've just got a flat bit of steel. Um, it's one inch wide and I've bent it, well first pre-drilled quarter inch holes, um, just bent it one inch from each end, top and bottom or whatever you want to call it, and the length of it is 17 inches. So 17 inches I've made it 16 and 3 quarters so I can wrap it around there. You can see there's a little step there that it holds it on. Now I've just found a piece of um, steel that's five and a quarter inches so it's a little bit bigger than what I need and I'm just going to shape that nicely around um, that pipe just so it's nice and round so I can fit snug on the on that drum. just put a bolt through it and now I'm just going to shape it around that um, tighten that up properly and just shape it so it's nice and even nice smooth edge around it none of those little sharp kinks in it drum and you can see just here I need to just fine tune it a bit just make that a little bit more round there on the ends um, but it's looking good and it just sits under that little little step to the bottom there I just need two bits of steel that I'm gonna go a little bit more so about seven and a half inches This old bolt, um, I don't know, off some old bracket. Um, what I'm actually going to do is straighten that out and just weld it there so I've got a little bit of adjustment there at the top. And then there'll just be a flat rod that goes across and I can put like a threaded um, plate in there and so I can pull it out. And what I'm going to actually do you just bend a little step there just so it's closer to the to the center of the drum and also so that bit can actually lean on there um, just so it's pulling that top edge up against that step if that makes sense so I'm just going to bend it probably about here somewhere where my thumb is And I didn't bend it sharp enough. So what I'm going to do, doesn't really matter, I'm just going to weld it on an angle like that on alternate sides so it won't matter. Get there, I've marked where the centre is. And we want to get this bit in the centre there. So I'm just going to have a rough guess of the angle. Try and get it straight as we can. And I'll put it on this just so this, because this is only sheet metal, um, so it doesn't buckle it. That's got it. I'm just going to flip it over and do the other side.
testing it it doesn't look too bad uh, this one just needs to be bent in a little bit but I actually wanted it to be pulling in just so that top edge really sits on that um, little step there when it's pulling it up because that's the thing that's actually gripping so that doesn't look too bad I'm just going to mig up the rest of it now Alright, I've migged it up. I probably should have got just normal mild steel. Galvanised is a real pain in the bum uh, to weld. Splatters everywhere. I've got to also just grind those um, weld through marks as well. A little bit. Okay, now for the plate. I'm going to need a plate that's about... Uh, probably six and a half inches half inch either side and you can see that the centers if you can see that are five inches apart so I'm going to drill two 516 holes um, I might need to actually slot them a little bit just so it pulls in pulls in like that so this top edge is actually pulling into that step as I'm winding it in and I'll need another hole in the middle where I can just tap a put a tap in and I can have a nut that's going to actually pull that out it's the sort of thing that I'm uh, looking to find I can't find a piece that's adequately thick um, so I can put in there but what you can do is get two bits of flat put them like this and weld a nut in the middle and that'll be strong enough and you'll also have those slots so I'm going to see if I can use this off our bearing puller um, if it'll fit in but this bit here might be too wide um, I should have probably made a little bit longer drilled the holes there and I'm just going to tap a hole in the middle there found this flat stuff I think it was off some supermarket racking and it's really hard metal or it's been case hardened so I've put a little bit of oil on the tap a 3.8 coarse thread or Whitworth and I'm just gonna tap that See it's taking shape now. Now I need to make a little plug there on the lathe that just sits in there so I don't damage that housing. Um, just a little plug, like a sort of look, looks like a mushroom, and it'll just sit in there and sit on top of that. Um, and I'll have a center hole so when I put the bolt in, I'll just machine a point on the bolt and that'll be able to just pull it up. Yeah, that's what I was talking about just fits in there just so it doesn't damage that housing when we're pulling it off 
just got to take the nut off and then we can try and replace it um, that little mushroom in there I had to machine it down I didn't leave enough thread on here so that's the only other thing I've changed on it just cable tied the belt on both sides I'm just going to tighten this nut and you'll see that this will be pulling it up and we've gone almost to the top there and you can see that that belt's nice and loose now now we're going to undo the bottom bolts on that and we can take this whole assembly part out okay I've undone just this assembly here that's a driven one and using our slide hammer I've just put it on the top bolt and just pulled it out and that's pulled that bearing out of the housing twisted it off and we've removed the, the belt and you can see what these jiggers are um, selling for on eBay so for 40 minutes work and a few uh, tools you should have in the garage um, you can save yourself a few dollars